But let's put the focus then on another stock that has been in focus recently. Mutut Finance has attracted a lot of investor interest. And this after bullish commentary at its conference call. And the company now targets an AUM of 1900 crore rupees in fiscal 19. We have George Alexander Mutut, Managing Director at Mutut Finance, joining in. Uh, uh, George, thanks so much uh, for joining in. Always good to have you on. Uh, first off, if you could give us a sense of these sort of targets that you've laid out for fiscal 19 uh, in terms of uh, assets under management and, uh, of course, uh, revenue as well. Or what is the expectation? Yeah, so we start, thank you. We started the year with an AU of 28,000 crores in the gold loan alone. And uh, we expect uh, the, the year to end with 15% uh, plus growth in the gold loan sector. Uh, all the other businesses like uh, housing finance and microfinance also, we expect good growth. And overall, we expect the uh, AUM from 30,000 to go 15 or more in the whole year. So we expect better traction for the gold loan as well as for the other products in this year. All right. There, there seems to be a big push as far as uh, microfinance goes. The, the MFI AUM target is about 1,900 crores for fiscal 19. Give us a sense of where you see this coming from. Uh, are you specifically targeting any region geographically? See, the microfinance company which we hold uh, majority stake is called Bellstar Finance, uh, which is uh, target, uh, which is basically uh, predominantly in Tamil Nadu and also in Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, uh, and uh, other adjoining states there. So they see the uh, business coming from there, and uh, they see a good traction for the assets and the management. Today it is, uh, or rather in the start of the year it was 1100 crores and we expect it to reach 1900 crores in microfinance by the end of the year all right so 1900 crores then is the is the target as far as uh, microfinance loans goes for fiscal 19 you also plan a foray into uh, vehicle loans if you could give us a sense of what is the kind of opportunity that you're seeing in this space uh, and i understand of course this will be just an initial uh, foray but what kind of contribution can we expect to see in fiscal 19 we are, we are thinking of entering into the vehicle finance sector also. Uh, in a small way, we are getting into the business. Uh, probably the end of the year, we may think about a, uh, 200, 250 crores of portfolio. And going forward, we would like it to grow better and better. All right. So uh, expecting then to kick things off this year itself. The subject of gold loans then, uh, you know, last time around when we spoke after the fourth quarter results, there was a bit of pressure in this space as far as fiscal 18 goes. Talking about uh, fiscal 19 then, if you could give us a sense of where your targets stand. The, uh, our targets for the gold loan, as I said earlier, is also 15% plus. Last year, our growth was uh, uh, less than south of 10%. But this year, in the last four months, we have seen good traction in the gold loan and we expect to end the year with uh, certainly 15% plus uh, target just for the gold loan sector. Right. Uh, so what then will you, do you see playing into this sort of performance in the gold loan uh, business? Because considering the sort of pressure we saw last year, that's quite an ambitious target to, to be looking at a 15% number. Uh, yeah, it's uh, ambitious, but uh, what we see is the credit uh, demand for gold loan business has picked up, and we also see some of the competitors also not uh, act so active as they were maybe in the last year also. So the most important thing is that we see more uh, demand for the gold loan because of the business environment pick up. All right. So business environment looking stronger. Expect the gold loan business to do better. 15% is the target on that front. Uh, we'd also seen this jump as far as NPS go. Of course, that was because of the shift in uh, recognition to a uh, 90 day uh, to the 90 day recognition uh, period. Uh, what then are we looking at in terms of asset quality? Because from the 7% number, are we looking at things going back to two to three percent, or do you think that uh, you know it will be a gradual reduction as far as uh, NPS go? So I think I need a clarification here because of the asset quality. See, asset quality is the, uh, the asset quality is always 100% good because all these NPS we have 100% and more gold with us. So it is just that the company has given more time to the gold loan customers to repay. We have the money. We can all we can make the NPS zero just by auctioning all the gold. But then. 
even by auctioning, we will not lose one rupee of our capital. So in the last decades, we have never lost one rupee just because of the NPA. NPA is just a technical NPA, and we realize our interest as well as the principal when the gold is redeemed by the customer or finally when it is auctioned. So NPA is, is not, uh, not a concern for the gold loan sector at all. All right, I take your point. It's completely provided for uh, at the moment. You've just given, you've simply given additional time uh, for these uh, loans to be resolved then. Uh, can we expect in terms of resolution then that things will be resolved either in the first half of fiscal 19, any sort of uh, target that you're working with? As we are speaking, in the last three months, two and a half months, uh, more than 75% of the NPS of the last uh, quarter which we saw have already been closed by the customers. So uh, next quarter, a new set of NPS will come. It is just that we are giving more time to the customers to redeem their gold. That is one of the USPs of Mutut that uh, people consider Mutut as a very uh, good NBSC where their gold is not simply auctioned off just at the drop of a hat. So we give them time. Since we are not losing anything, we are happy to hold it for them for some more time because we get our interest in principle. So uh, NPA has never been a concern for uh, gold loan NP gold loan NPFCs. For us, the loan loss comes because of maybe some spurious gold or burglary, etc., which is just 0.04% of our AUM. So it is negligible loan loss. For loan loss due to NPAs is zero. All right, fair enough. I, I take your point. Uh, NPA is not a concern going ahead. Uh, also expecting 20% overall loan growth. Uh, just a word on cost of funds then. The, we were expecting some pressure for the industry. Any targets that you have as far as cost of funds go? As, as we are speaking, we see the cost of funds or the cost of borrowings going a little northward. So in the next two quarters, we expect a, a 25 bips uh, raise in the uh, increase in the cost of borrowing. But uh, as these are very small loans, if necessary, we can easily pass on this cost to the customers because our loans are just for the average tenure is just three to four months. So if there is a pressure on the margins, but uh, on the cost of funds, we can easily pass it on to the customer. But as we speak, we see maybe just a point, 25 25 bips uh, increase in the cost of borrowing in the next two quarters. All right, could see 25 bips uh, increase as far as cost of borrowings go for the first couple of quarters. We leave it at that. Thanks so much, says George Alexander Muthut of Muthut Finance, giving us a sense of how the business stands at the moment. Uh, ambitious targets for the gold loan business going uh, into fiscal 19, 15% growth seen there, and overall looking at a 20% loan growth for fiscal 19. But with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Trending Today. Thank you so much for watching.